looking for, I'm really looking for answers. I'm looking for living human beings who can give me answers rather than yeah. give me references and quote websites to me. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a paper well, and ink man. I've got a Bible in front of me, paper and ink. I've got Enjoy Life Forever, paper and ink. I've got a Jehovah's Witness Bible. I, I deal with paper and ink. I, I find it... I, I find that you get a much better grasp of things with that rather than with with gadgets. Can I leave this with you? Well, and maybe we talk about sure. this another time. Um, okay. There's one more concern that I, I, I have. Well, two, really. Um, it's chapter eight of Enjoy Life Forever. You can be Jehovah's friend. Are you familiar with this chapter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep, let me turn there. Yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, okay. I'll read the introduction, but before I do, I f believe very firmly that friendship with God ceased at Christ's resurrection. Nobody today, no one since Christ's resurrection, can be a friend of God. It's impossible today. Anyone who comes to faith comes to faith as a child of God or as a son of God by adoption Jehovah doesn't have two categories of believers some are sons of God the other category would be friends of God if I'm wrong I need you to show me from the New Testament after Pentecost okay not before Pentecost because Abraham was a friend of God that's before Pentecost mm -hmm. sorry before mm -hmm. Christ's resurrection John 15, Jesus refers to his disciples as his friends. That's before Christ's resurrection. Mm -hmm. Show me in the Bible, after Christ's resurrection, where anyone comes to faith as a friend of God. Um, I'll just read it. It's page 33. It's lesson 8, you can be Jehovah's friend. Uh, the introduction mm -hmm. paragraph says, Jehovah wants you to know him better. Why? He hopes the more you learn about his personality, his ways and his purpose, the more you will want to be his friend. Can you really be God's friend? What can you do to become his friend? The Bible answers those questions and reveals why friendship with Jehovah is the most important relationship you can have. The book is saying that people today in 2023 can come to faith as friends of God. I mean, that's what the book is saying. Did you, isn't did you, it? Say, did you say come to faith? As, is that what you just used the word faith? Faith. Oh, faith. Okay, okay. I F A I T H. Yeah. People come right. to be believers, and 144,000 of them, you believe, are children of God or sons of God, but you believe there's about 8 million today who are friends of God. Now, I don't see that dichotomy. Can you show me anywhere in the New Testament, anywhere, after Christ's death, death, burial, and resurrection, when Christ rose from the grave, show me where anyone comes to faith as a friend of God? Where does it say in the book of Acts that, you know, uh, so and so and so and so um, heard the gospel and he believed and he became a friend of God? Where in, in, in after Christ's resurrection, not before, because people became friends of God before Christ's resurrection. Uh, I can explain why, if you like, but nowhere after Christ's resurrection does anyone come to faith as a friend. I mean, can you show me a verse? Hmm. Well, only thing I can say, you, you, if you're mentioning after Jesus' death, how anybody could be a friend of God. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He said that he was a mirror image of the Father. Uh, so the way to Jesus... That's John 10.30. You must give the references. Jo how on earth does John 10.30 relate to this? I and my Father are one, John 10.30. It's totally right. unrelated, surely. It's got nothing to do Why? with friendship with, with God at all. And also, this is before yeah. Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, not not after it. Yeah. Well, it, if you just take the whole context of the entire Bible, who, who were the ones that were God's friend? Abraham? That's, that's before Abraham Christ. Was... That's 2,000 years before Christ's resurrection. I agree. Yeah. You see, the term friend of God is used for Old Testament saints who died in their sins. They, they couldn't be saved because Christ hadn't come, died, died on the tree and resurrected for their sins yet. 
So right. faithful men of old, like Abraham, when he died, he died without his sins being taken away because Christ's atonement, his resurrection, hadn't happened. But because he was a faithful man of God, he's called a friend of God. Because when Christ did resurrect from the dead, at that moment, the grace of Christ is applied to Abraham. In other words, Abraham enters into the new covenant. Right. So friend of God oh, is but... a term used in the Old Testament for um, the faithful who haven't yet had their sins forgiven. Jesus uses it of his, of his disciples in John 15. But the term friend of God is never used of any Christian believer after Christ's resurrection. If I'm wrong, show me. Well, I can't show you that specifically, but if you look at the whole uh, part of the Bible that really shows how, how do we become a friend of God? By becoming a friend of Jesus, by you, you obeying his commands? A, no, you can't become a friend of God uh, today. It's not biblical. There's no verse that says uh, anyone can become a friend of God today in 2023. But if I'm wrong, show me. Well, there's no verse that says you shouldn't smoke cigarettes either. I'm, I don't smoke cigarettes. I'm not interested in that at all. Could you show I me know. where I anyone... <laughs> just... Yeah, but if you're going to... The, your chapter is titled, You Can Be Jehovah's Friend. I read the introduction right. and it's implying that people can, be, can become friends of God today. There are 144,000 sons of God who go to heaven, according to Jehovah's Witness teaching. But there's about 8 million... Uh, friends of God living on earth today who are going to in, live on a paradise earth. So you use the term well, friend of God for the great crowd, but you use sons of God or children of God for the anointed. Now, I'm saying that yeah, the term okay. friend of God is never applied after Christ's death, burial and resurrection to anyone. But if I'm wrong, yeah. show me, correct me. Well, I, I can't find that right now. But I, but I think you, you know enough about the Bible to look at the whole picture and see what God's will is for man, how Jesus fills those parts, and how Jesus is king of the kingdom, and how, how uh, you know, to, to follow Jehovah's directions is to obey his commands. The same example that Jesus set when he was on the earth, and uh, if that makes us a friend of Jesus, that makes us a friend of Jehovah. No, it doesn't. Because you don't want anybody no, it doesn't. To, you doesn't need want to, to no, it doesn't. You need to show me that from the Bible. I, I, am, I am not going to listen to... I've, I've spent many hours of my life listening to Mormons, Pentecostals, Christadelphian, uh -huh. Seventh Day Adventist, yakety 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 yak 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 yak. They talk and talk and talk, and it's all talk. It's all hot air. Yeah. It's all smoke yeah. and mirrors. I want to see it in the Bible. Show me from my Bible where anyone comes to faith after Christ's resurrection as a friend of God. Now, if you you can go away you could perhaps the best thing to do is, is to be honest with me and say robert can i go away and and do some research and find out about this but please don't tell me to um go away and look at the whole context of the bible because that's what the mormons do when you trap them or the seven day adventist or the extreme pentecostals you ask them a question they can't answer and they look at you in a very condescending tone and say, well, if you if you were to understand the context of the whole Bible and you were to be humble, Robert, you would see that what we're saying is true. And then they just yakety yakety yak. They talk around it. They can't show you any scripture. Yeah. They haven't got it. Yeah. You do need to be right. precise. I'm a former Pentecostal. I was in the most extreme yeah. form of Pentecostalism. I left in 1989. Yeah. I was in the oneness movement which is a form of anti-Trinitarian Pentecostalism. And I left. Yeah. And having left, I kind of changed. I wanted evidence from the Bible. I wanted facts from the Bible. Because to me, the Bible is the word of God. And right. I don't right. need anything outside of Scripture. Scripture makes me complete, thoroughly right. equipped for yeah. every good work. 2 Timothy right. 3, 16 yeah. and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration right. of God. And it's profitable for right. doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be right. complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. If I've got the Bible, I complete. But if you listen to right. 
some extreme Pentecostals or the Mormons or Seventh Adventist, you're not complete with the Bible. You've got to listen to their them yakking on, yakety 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 yak. Right. And the Bible's not sufficient. Yeah. You have to listen to their prophet or their apostle or their leader, their Mormon leader in Utah, or you've got to listen to Benny Hinn on Christian TV. You know, and <laughs> Benny Hinn's an absolute nut. You know, I got you. I know what I see what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I don't have I don't have the answers to all these questions. And, and uh, sounds like you're very familiar with other religions and what they believe and what they teach. Yes. And the Bible is the word of God. Yes. And uh, if if you have, and if you don't like those reference materials, and, and that's why they put them for us to do those research. No, 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 no. I, I, I have I have researched this. Yeah, I'm okay. asking you to show me from the scripture where the Bible says that anyone comes to faith. Where does it say that so and so came to faith and he was called a friend of God? Or, or so-and-so was baptized and believed in Jehovah and he became a friend of God. Where in the New Testament, after Christ's death, death, burial and resurrection, does anyone come to faith and is called a friend of God? Because your book is making the, the offer that people can become friends of God today. You see? Um, I say yeah. this with respect. Um, yeah, I know what you're saying. I mean, would it be best for you to say, Robert, I'll go and look into this and get back to you? Because when I've spoken to the people at the carts where I live, they really can't be bothered. They just say, uh, is go on JW.org and do some research. And I know their literature, well, I think, better than they do because they can't be bothered. They're not too bothered. Well, th this this is my suggestion. And you don't, you can do whatever you want. If it was me... I would sit down with somebody and have them come over to your house and sit there and study and take your time and tell them what your concerns are and, uh, and, and be able to talk about them questions and take the time to do it. Sounds like you're very familiar with what the Bible says. The trouble is, I think, I don't that... know, James, Sorry. if if you, if you, if you search under friends of God in the, uh, Sorry about the dog. James four four says adulteresses do not know that friendship with the world is enmity with yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. friendship with Whoever the world. To... I'm not. I'm not uh, asking you to show me a verse that talks about friendship with the world. I'm, the context is friendship with God. James four four is irrelevant. Uh, Where do people come to faith? Look, if you don't know the answer, this is what I find with so many religious people. If they don't know the answer, they, they, you go around in circles, they just waste your time. They don't say, hey, Robert, I don't know. But give me a month and I'll get okay, back to Robert. you. Which is possibly okay, Robert, the best I answer. I don't, I don't, I okay. don't know. All right, okay. I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to look for you. Okay. That's all. All right, but well, thank thanks you. For, thank for, you very much. Well, thanks for calling and... Uh, Keep up your search. I think you're on the right track. Will you be getting back to me? You're showing some, like, some concern by getting back to me? If I find something, I'll get back to you. Could I just ask one final thing, if that's possible? Sure. Yeah. Um, it's about the Holy Spirit. It's Acts uh -huh. 13, verse 2. 